Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with the three chamber symphonies of Von Hombo. Really, what a marvelous composer he is. And we're going to be talking more about Hombo because he wrote tons and tons of music. Well, not tons and tons, but a lot of music. And he is the best composer ever if you like music that comes in clumps. He wrote 13 symphonies, 20 string quartets, some, I don't know, a dozen plus chamber concertos, a bunch of preludes for a symphonietta, uh, and these three chamber symphonies. I mean, everything comes in clumps, and clumps are wonderful things. If you like one thing, you will like the rest. This is, yeah, it's like falling out of its little thing here. Okay, that's always exciting. Never mind. It's wonderful music. It features, let's see, the Lapland Chamber Orchestra under John Storgard, a wonderful conductor. Now, these three works last a total of 69 minutes. There's 17 minutes, 29 minutes, and 22 minutes. Um, the second is subtitled Elegy, and the third is subtitled Freeze, as in the artwork of Freeze, not like cold-type Freeze. You don't want cold type freeze. Now, Humbo, Humbo was a neoclassicist. His style combines um, a bunch of influences. I mean, he's fully contemporary. He lived from 1909 to 1996. So he's a very contemporary composer. His style, well, he was trained by Carl Nielsen, and he started out sounding a lot like Carl Nielsen, and he always sounded a bit like Carl Nielsen, especially because being something of a neoclassicist, his music has a lot of energy, rhythmic energy, motoric energy, a lot of verve, a lot of, you know, he begins at the beginning with a with an oomph, you know, quite often he doesn't like write long, slow introductions. I mean, sometimes he does, I know, but I mean, generally his style is one where, where his allegros are bracing and vibrant and his slow movements are songful and beautiful. The, the harmonic style can be quite contemporary. There are things he writes that are as close to atonal as makes no difference, but it, it, it's all very recognizable. It's based on, it's based on easily graspable motives and themes and a process of thematic metamorphosis, which we'll talk about in another video, um, at which he was an absolute master. He really was. So these symphonies are scored for a small orchestra, a very small orchestra, the first, and then they start to expand. The second symphony has a beautiful part for a celesta. I mean, what's not to love when you have a celesta handy? And then the third Chamber Symphony adds a bit of percussion, very intelligently used. I reviewed this disc at classicstoday.com, but I wanted to talk about it here too because I, this is just a composer who deserves a lot more attention than he gets, um, especially given the, the very, very high quality of his work and the quantity of it too. So uh, this is a wonderful place to get started along with the symphonies. If you don't want to get all 13 symphonies and you want just a single disc, um, this is a wonderful way to start. The viola concerto is a wonderful place to start. He wrote like the best 20th century viola concerto after Ernest Bloch and William Walton. Really a fabulous work. Uh, he just was gifted. And his melodic style often sounds Eastern European because his, mo his mother, not his mother, his wife, <laughs> excuse me, who was an artist and a photographer, was Romanian. And so he did, he spent a lot of time in Eastern Europe. And so like Bartok, he absorbed the influences of that kind of folk music, which he melded with Danish folk music, which he melded with the style of Nielsen and also Bartok and the Eastern European composers. So it's a wonderfully fertile mixture that doesn't quite sound like anybody else. It's absolutely original. And so I, I you know, what can I tell you? I, I haven't had much time to devote to Hombo yet, but we're going to be spending some time with it. I wish that I could play samples of all this stuff without having issues with copyright claims popping up all over the place. But uh, there's a wonderful series of things on Da Capo that we'll talk about, some wonderful recordings on, on BIS, and this is one of the Da Capos. And between them, you've got all of his major stuff. Um, pretty readily available, which is which is sort of unusual. I mean, he's been very well treated on disc, even if he hasn't been recorded multiple times over. At least most of the major stuff is out there and available in first-class performances. So yes, 
the three chamber symphonies with the, the Lapland Chamber Orchestra under John Storgard's On Da Capo in beautiful SACD sound. A terrific introduction to an absolutely splendid composer. Keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.